particular Sunday was eight morning. March fifteenth. <laughs> you are up and out of your bed and ready to pray and pull down some strongholds. So can we just take a moment and give God all the praise, glory, and honor. Did you say hallelujah this morning? Did you say God you're worthy? There is a sound that needs to be filling the atmosphere so that the enemy know that he has no control in your house or in your mind. That we say that we take when we have praise, we take the strength out of defeat. So we're taking the, the strength out of defeat right now because we know that God is awesome. We know that he is a sovereign God. We know that he does all things well. Again, welcome to the Citadel of Praise Church and Campus Ministry. Our pastor, Greg Drumright, sends his greetings and his love to you all that he is praying wherever he is. It doesn't matter that wherever he is he's always praying for each and every one of us i am not here alone on this beautiful saturday morning but i have some excited prayer warriors with me that's ready to pray some walls down i have brother elijah with me today i have brother dexter i have sister gabby and sister tanisha welcome to you all how y'all feeling this morning Talking. Feeling really good this morning, really good. <laughs> feeling good. All right, Brother Elijah. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling great as well. I'm ready to pray and ready to, like you said, pray the walls down. Yes, Sister Tanisha, you got the mic, though. <laughs> uh, I feel really good this morning. Good. Ready to pray? Ready to pray. I definitely have a spirit of excitement. Yes. I'm excited to just talk to God about some yes. things, you know? Yes. Definitely a time of prayer. Um, I know we woke up this morning and it was raining, but as I was coming to Boiler Room, I just thought of the song, um, it's raining, it's pouring, the spirit is flowing, like living water flow over my soul. So I'm just so grateful that the living water is flowing over our souls, not just in this room, but also at your homes, that the living water is coming to your household. So if there's any dry place, the living water is available for each and every one of us. And we are so excited to pray. Yes, we pray for prayer requests live on this set. So please send in your prayer requests. That number is 336-898-9946. Six again. That number is 336-898-9946. So send your prayer requests in because we do touch and agree with those prayer requests. So I have a question on the floor for you all. Pastor has been preaching his heart out about the transfer of trust. We just came from the Are You Sure series and that was life given to us and now we're learning about the transfer of trust. So my question is, if you could preach this series to your younger self, considering everything that you have gained from the time he opened up his mouth about this sermon series, what would your sermon title be? And why would that be your sermon title concerning the trust, the transfer of trust, Brother Dexter? Well, um, that, that's a great question, uh, Minister Jazz, because, um, you know, my younger self, I can say um, he would probably be proud of me, but at the same time, like, you know, me and him both know that, you know, I have... I can say that I've delayed myself spiritually 
Um, and so if I had to preach to my younger self, I would say, just burn it and go. Because, yes. you know, um, <clears throat> Elisha did something um, that, you know, we saw in the New Testament yeah. that the other people that Jesus ministered to, they wouldn't do. Um, and, you know, when he went back to literally make it to where there's no, there was nothing for him. There's nothing for him to come back to. You know, there was just so much power in that. And I know that, you know, straddling the fence and like trying to maybe bring people along with you so, you know, I could be comfortable in my walk with God, you know, realizing that the reality is, you know, I was going to be here anyway. Right. And so, you know, just burn it and go. Burn it and go. I think we all can relate to that. We'd be holding on to our past so bad. I think even the memory like sometimes you don't actually go back to something physical but sometimes you go back in your mind so even burning those memories away that your former self like how i used to be or i was getting money here and like just really having those thoughts of like what you were doing in your mind and sometimes that can contribute to like you feeling low because you still you just focus on that memory you had so even burning the memories away yeah, and the guilt and the shade. Burn yeah, burn it all. All right, Sister Gabby. Oh, TT, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I would say my sermon title would be "Ignore Them." Um, based off of when, uh, it was almost time for Elijah to, you know, ascend and go. And while he was walking, you know, the, the other school of prophets, you know, they were talking to Elisha, trying to get in his head, you know, like, you know, he's about to die. Why don't you just go do you, you know, like, just, just go. And Elisha stayed. And so I would say to my younger self, ignore them. Because I know I allow people to get in my head. Yeah. I allowed them to say stuff that made me question what I already knew God yeah. told me that. I've heard several times over and over before I got here. So it's kind of like my, and I know that, and now that hearing this series, um, it's made me reflect deeply into that. So I would definitely preach to myself, ignore them. Ignore them. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of things that we should have ignored. Um, especially, like, I know I keep coming back to ourselves, but sometimes we are our worst enemy. And we don't know how to ignore our own thoughts sometimes. It's, we, it's, it can be easier to ignore the people around you because you don't go home with these people. But sometimes your mind, when you're stuck here, you don't ignore your own thoughts. Yeah. So just even ignoring your own thoughts and, you know, I know what God said to me. So that's also important. Brother Elijah. All right. Um, if I, My sermon title would be transfer of trust find your focus um pastor led us to luke chapter 9 uh i'm gonna read uh, verse 59 and he and he jesus said unto another follow me but he a man said lord suffer me first to go and bury my father jesus said unto him let the dead bury their dead but go thou and preach the kingdom of god and another also said lord I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. Verse 62. And Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. I guess Elijah was ready to preach to y'all because how are you the only one that came with a scripture? Hey, I mean, <laughs> like literally, I, I was looking like, what are you man? I was hoping you won't. <laughs> Go ahead. Nah, nah. I mean, it, it just hit so deeply for me because Pastor really went in and explained how, you know, a plowman has to stay focused. You know, if he's going to till that soil correctly and if the field is going to be right so that the harvest can come in, like the plowman has to do a lot of work, focus on his goal and till the soil right. And, you know, my my title, Find Your Focus, it, it helps me to understand, like, you know, 
these men, if they were going to follow Jesus, they had to be focused. Like, yeah. like, like Dexter and Tanisha were saying, like, you can't look back. Yeah. You know, you can't think of the things that you were. Think of the things that that could have been if you were to stay where you were at, because I feel like that knocks off your focus. Yeah. You know, and we talk about, you know, finding your why a lot. And I think that a part of that, a lot of that is knowing the purpose in right. what you're doing and how you're living. And that's that's all a part of your focus. Yes. And I love that part when Pastor mentioned that. Um, it was, I'm going to say cross contaminate. But when he said, if you was to look back and your plow went into the other rows, that like I when he depicted that, I was like, man you don't know what you just mixed together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even um, I had a thought, the Holy Spirit, it was like 2017. I just went through a breakup. I was crying my eyes out. I was living with my parents at the time. Parents didn't know what was going on. I wasn't being honest, like why I was so depressed at the time. And I remember plain to say, again, I moved in with my parents, so there was nothing in my old room but like a flat bed. And all my boxes, <laughs> I didn't unpack because I was like, I ain't going to be here long. But um, I remember I was just crying. And the Holy Spirit came to me. and He was like, just focus on you. And so, you know, it is important to really focus on you because I didn't, I, I wish I would have took heed at the time because it was a lot I had to undo emotionally. Um, but now I understand when Pastor brought up that five-year plan for our ministry, that made me want to just, by 34, I should be here. 34, ooh. Yes, by, yeah, 34, I should be right here. And he made me want to focus because of that plan. It was so intentional. And it, it just made me excited to say, okay, I want to get with the vision. So just understanding that being focused is really, it really plays a big part in your life. Sister Gabby. <laughs> so my sermon title would be the reciprocation of trust because when I thought of my younger self I thought about how there were some things that I couldn't reciprocate and were not expected to reciprocate it like if you're thinking about yourself as a toddler as an elementary student as a high school student middle school there's certain levels of reciprocation that people are expecting from you so now in my adulthood and the word that I've been exposed to the Lord is expecting some reciprocation He's like, you got to go from milk to me. Yeah. So you're at a point where you're exposed to this word and you're responsible for it. So I need you to, Pastor was teaching us how to how to um, transfer trust to God and how God transfers trust to us, how he trusted us. And so I see like in the series how important it is to reciprocate in a relationship because both parties, if one person is pouring in, it's not a real relationship. And you wouldn't, we wouldn't want relationships like that and so um, there was a point in the series where he said God will strengthen your decisions and I laughed because when he said that <laughs> when he said that I was like oh you mean the good decisions he said no baby your bad decisions too he will strengthen them and what he meant by that like he's gonna be with you in the highs and in the lows but he doesn't want you to stay in your low just because he's with you there and so I think about the decisions that I make like as an adult and I'm like okay I gotta reciprocate I gotta transfer some good decisions between my relationship with God yeah the way he said that I was like I gotta make some start making better decisions I don't want to <laughs> I do not want him to strengthen but it makes sense like why like people who sell drugs and they don't see nothing wrong with it or yeah, they yeah, and they make, make a lot of money and they like hey it's legit I, I, like I, I understand why when pastor said that I'm like dang now I understand why people get stuck yeah. and they never change for a long time because it has they, they pour so much energy into yeah. it and now it's so strong so you know I just it really did make me want to be careful of my decision making and just reflect on the choices that I make. Yeah. So if I had to preach to my younger self, my sermon title would be the transfer of trust. I'm going to eat. Yep. And so I'm going to eat. 
Because when Pastor pulled out the point that Lazarus was supposed to be dead, but he was ended up eating at the table with Jesus. And so I just thought at my 15 year old self when I wanted to commit suicide and how 15 years later, I'm still eating at the table with Jesus. So I'm just so excited that what I thought was supposed to be my end was never going to be my end. And um, somebody said to me, like, you did die. I died to my worldly self. Yes. And so, you know, I remember the moment where I had a falling out with somebody and they was like, if I see you on the street, I'm act like I don't even know you. And I know that that came from a hurt place where I might have hurt, them, I did hurt them. And I understand that, but I'm so glad that if that person was to come up to me today, that self that you remember has died and gone away and this is a new person. And I've, you know, I've asked for forgiveness in those areas and I've called their name out and said, God, wherever they may be, let them please forgive me for everything that I've done. I don't know how to reach them. So, you know, this is the best way that I'm hoping that it reached them. But definitely if, if I had to preach to my younger self, it's the transfer of trust, I'm gonna eat. So, I hope you all have just been reflecting on this sermon series. It is so important that we are allowing the word to grow us up and mature us in the spirit because we need to transfer this stuff to other people. There are people around us that is just not trusting God right now. There's wars going on. There's shootings going on. So people just have to understand why it's so important to believe God even in the midst of turmoil. So we're going to go to a... Um, popcorn of scripture and we're going to start off with Brother Dix Um, I will be reading uh, from John 9 uh, verse 1 and it reads now as Jesus passed by he saw a man who was blind from birth and his disciples asked him saying Rabbi who sinned this man or his parents that he was born blind Jesus answered Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Shalom, which is translated sin. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Thank you, God. Therefore, the neighbors and those who had previously seen this man said, Is this not the man that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. And he said, I am he. Therefore, they said to them, to him, How were your eyes opened? And he answered, a man called Jesus, made clay, and anointed my eyes and said to me, go to the pool of Shalom and washed. So I went and washed, and I received sight. My God. My God. Sister T.T. I will be reading Psalms 91, starting at verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold the wicked, shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear up they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the soul. And that was Psalms 91, verses 4 through 12. I'll be coming from Psalm 30, starting at verse 1. I will extol thee, O Lord, 
for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Yes. Sister God. Hallelujah. I'll be coming from Psalm 40. And the title of the chapter is My Help and My Deliverer. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of my miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, yes, making God. my steps secure. Mm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord, my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering, you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, behold, I have come in the scroll of the book. It is written of me. I delight to you. I delight to do your will, oh my God. Your law is within my heart. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I'll be reading Psalms 31. And you, O oh Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge a fortress of defense to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me, for you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated those who regarded useless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul and adversaries and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am troubled. We praise God this morning and that we are just ready to pray this transfer of trust for each and every one of you and that God will do it. Please send in your prayer request. That number is 336-898-9946. Again, that number is 336-898-9946. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us the opportunity to come, Lord God, together and to bless your name. Lord God, to call on you, Lord God, because you have been worthy to us, Father. Lord God, you have been good to us, God. Hallelujah, you have continued to love us, Lord God, and you have continued to sustain us. Lord God, in a year, Lord God, of the shift, in a year where we are moving, Lord God, in a year where we are shaking, Lord God, we have been able to stand on the firm foundation of you, Lord God, and we thank you for that, Lord God. We thank you for the faith, Lord God, that continues, Lord God, to help us to pour into something that we know, Lord God, will be prosperous, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the vision, Lord God, that our pastor keeps giving us, Lord God, so that we can walk with him, Lord God, so that we can build the kingdom with him, Lord God, and so that we can tear the kingdom of Satan down, Lord God. 
in a day, Lord God, and in a time, Lord God, where the spirit of division, Lord God, lays over every facet of life, Lord God. We pray that your spirit, Lord God, continue to pull and to hold us together, Lord God. We pray against the spirit, Lord God, that will cause fathers and sons, Lord God, to not be able to stand with one another. Lord God, mothers and daughters to bicker, Lord God, and to fight and to argue. Lord God, we pray against the spirit that would make friends hate each other, Lord God. We pray against the spirit of jealousy, Lord God, that would make us look down on people that we love and that we grew up with. Lord God, we pray against that spirit, Lord God, that would make us run from the church, Lord God, that would make us disobey our leaders, Lord God, that would make people retaliate against their ministers, Lord God, instead of repent. And we ask, Lord God, that we focus on you, Lord God, because we know that you can hold us together. Lord God, we pray against this spirit of division that has come against the body of Christ as a whole, that has, go, that has come against the church, Lord God, that is making people hesitant to come into your arms, Lord God, that is, that is making people have second thoughts, Lord God, about what, what the body of Christ is and what it looks like, Lord God, because we know that you have continued and you have remained constant through it all. Lord God, we, we, we thank you for your son Jesus, Lord God, that taught us how to love, Lord God, that, that showed us that, you know, if, if we love you, Lord God, that the world will hate us, Lord God. But we thank you, Lord God, that he taught us how to stand in love. Lord God, that he taught us how to stand in peace. Lord God, that he taught us how to be diligent in this work, Lord God. We thank you for that example and we pray that that mind continue to be in us, Lord God, that that mind continue to bring us focus, Lord God, to, to, to do your will, to do your work and to do your way. Lord God, we, we pray that the spirit of hate, Lord God, and the spirit of malice, the spirit of violence, Lord God, and the, the, the spirits that cause us to harm one another are driven out of our hearts, Lord God, that are driven that when in the environments that we are around, Lord God, and the environments that we can affect, Lord God, that people will see how we handle situations, God, and people will see how, how we govern ourselves, Lord God, and that we keep that on our mind, Lord God, so that we can, we can be redeemers, Lord God, in your kingdom, Lord God, and that we can rebuke the spirits that continue to come against us. Lord God, we, we pray for faith and obedience in this season. Lord God, we pray that as we continue to plant these seeds, Lord God, that we continue to root ourselves in your word, Lord God, and that we continue to continue, that we continue to walk with you, Lord God, that you will, you will show us, Lord God, and you will help us to wait on what you have for us, Lord God, that we won't become chasers of our feelings and chasers of money, Lord God, and that we won't become opportunists because we know that your will, Lord God, and your way is perfect, and each and everything that you do is right. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you continue to strengthen our leader. Lord God, that you continue to strengthen his mind, that you continue to strengthen his vision. Lord God, that you continue to strengthen his staff, that Lord God, his correction Lord God, and that anything that comes from his mouth, Lord God, will fall on our soft hearts, Lord God, and that we will repent and change and not retaliate. Lord God, we thank you for giving us someone to guide us through a pandemic, Lord God, to guide us through changes in our lives, Lord God, to guide us through our careers, Lord God, and we pray that you continue to guide him because we know you will. Lord God, we give your name, the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray.
Jesus, Jesus, Adonai, we come to you on this morning magnifying and glorifying your name because truly you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. God, you are the one who woke us up this morning and called our name and said, breathe and move and walk and, go, and work into the purpose that you have called us and that you birthed us for. God, we thank you because we know we are not worthy of the forgiveness and the grace and the mercy that was extended our way this morning. God, we thank you because we know we are not worthy of the calling that you have trusted us with, but God, we say thank you. God, we magnify you because we know that you are more than worthy of it. God, we know that if we had 10,000 tons, it wouldn't be enough to magnify your name. It wouldn't be enough to glorify your name. It wouldn't be enough to sing the praises that is due because you have kept us. You have loved on us. You have watched over us when we didn't even want to be associated with you. So God, we say thank you. God, we cry out to you because you are the one true and living God. God, we cry out to you on this day, the day before your son rode into Jerusalem on a horse and people were crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna is the highest. But just a few days later, they will be shouting, crucify him. God, we call upon Jehovah Makadesh, our sanctifier. God, we ask you to sanctify us right now. God, we, ask, we cry out to you. We ask you to purge us so that we may be clean. God, we ask you to wash us so that we may be white as snow. God, we ask you to restore unto us the joy of our salvation and to not forget about us. God, not to take away your spirit from us. God, even though we know that we are worthy of it, God, we know we don't deserve the spirit that you have entrusted us with. But God, we ask you right now to give us another chance. God, we know we have abused the grace that you have given us at times, but God, we say forgive us. God, we ask you right now to just, to just give us another chance, God. We pray right now that you will be our strength, God, that you will reveal yourself to us in a new way. God, that not only will we see you as a provider, but God, we'll see you as something else. God, we'll see, as, we'll see you as the corrector. God, we won't get mad when your rod and your staff come down on us, but we will say thank you for breaking our legs because only, because we are dumb sheep sometimes when we go astray, but God, we thank you for being the greatest shepherd. God, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you for being the great high priest in order of Melchizedek who makes intercession on our behalf, who says we're not guilty even though, even though you know we did it. Even though we know that we have charged iniquity against ourselves and we have done things that we know we shouldn't have even though when you told us not to, God, we say thank you. God, we are grateful on this morning because you have saved us even when we didn't know even when we tried to kill us and you stopped we tried to kill ourselves but god you stopped us you didn't let the bullet you didn't let the gun go off god you didn't let the pills kill us god you let us get to the hospital just in time for us to pump our stomach god we say thank you because you are the living god you are the one who restores us you have been a mighty keeper. You have been Jehovah Shalom, our peace of God. Right now, this world needs your peace. God, you are the peace that surpasses all understanding. And there are some nations right now, God, that needs to know the God of peace. That needs to know the God that will love. That needs to know the God that will deliver. God, this world is in need of your deliverance. They need to see you as the mighty deliverer. God, I pray for the few that are in the vineyard right now. God, I pray for those who may be weary because they say, God, I've been serving and I've been serving and they feel like they're the only one. God, I pray that they will rest and eat. God, I pray that they will not, that you would send them strength, God, that you would send them people who you have given the spirit to be like Aaron and her and hold up their arms in the middle of the battle. God, I pray that you will anoint people with the spirit that you have placed on them to help them push the purpose. God, to help them be, be the deliverer, be the apostle, be the prophet, be the pastor, be the teacher. 
that you have called them to be, to be the light of the earth and the salt of the world. God, some people are beginning to fall away, but God, we pray for the church right now that she will not lose her favor, God, that she will not lose the Lord, but that, God, we will return back to the original way. God, that we will return back to the to the way that you predestined, for the way that you prescribed, that we would stop with the gimmicks and the gadgets and just do what you said. That there will be a renewing, a sanctification, a righteousness that will come back to the church like never before. That her, her, her workers who have stayed the way, God, we pray that they will continue to stay on the wall. God, we pray for the intercessors who have been interceding, and God, they, that nobody has been interceding for them. So right now, right now, God, we cry out to you on their behalf. Because not many people pray for the people who pray. So right now, God, we pray for those who have been praying, who pray for those who, have made, who may feel like they have been forgotten. But they kept to your way. They kept to your purpose. God, we pray you would meet them wherever they are right now. That your spirit will fall upon them and be their strength. That you, that you will let them know that you have seen and that you have heard and that you have not forgotten. And that they just wait on you. They will see the reward of their labor, that nothing that they have done has been in vain. If we pray these things in your sons, Jesus, mighty and matchless name. Hallelujah. 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 Unto the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Unto the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Unto our wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Unto the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our peace. Lord, we honor you on today. Lord, we are praying, thanking you, O Lord, for pulling us out of the pit. God, we are praying, thanking you, O Lord, for saving and redeeming our souls. God, we are praying, thanking you, O God, for being everything we've needed at every point in our lives. Oh God, there is nothing that we could do to fully repay you. But God, right now in this place and in this time of prayer, we honor you, Lord. We lift your holy name. We sing praises unto you, Lord. And we are calling heaven down, oh Lord, as we lift up praises unto you, as we worship and adore you, oh God, because you are deserving of all of our prayers, of all of our praise. Lord, you are deserving, oh God, of everything that is within us. Because everything good that is within us came directly from you, O oh God. Lord, all good things that, I've, that have happened in our lives are because of you, Lord. And we acknowledge you right now, Lord, as the one who has done it all. Lord, by your holy hands and by your holy works, Lord, do we have the opportunity to have our right mind? Do we have the opportunity to have a clean heart? That we have the opportunity, O oh Lord, to have a, a spirit that is free from darkness, a spirit that is free from filth. Lord, a mind that is focused on the kingdom and not focused on the things of this world. Oh God, we're just praying right now, oh Lord, that we could stand on the firm foundation that is you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we're standing, Lord, on your promises. Lord, we're standing, oh God, on the, the things that you've spoken over us. God, we're standing on the fact that, Lord, we don't have to succumb to our old ways, Lord. We don't have to look at what we were and think that's everything that we will be, oh God. But we are finding our focus, oh Lord. We are burning away the things of the old and looking towards the new. Lord, we are ignoring, Lord, what people are saying about us or what people would speak over us. And God, we're just continuing to pour into everything that you are and everything that you called us to be. Lord, your word says many are called, but few are chosen. Lord, we're standing here today, Lord, listening to your call and praying, Lord, that we would be the chosen ones. Lord, that we would be the ones, Lord, that would do your work in this kingdom. Do the work of the kingdom on this earth as we tear Satan's kingdom down. Lord, we lift up heaven and we rebuke and renounce hell in this place and on this earth. And God, we're praying that your spirit would do a mighty work. Lord, we're praying that your power would do the work that nothing else can do. God, we're praying, Lord, for the one that, that doesn't have any food to eat, Lord, the one that doesn't have any shelter, Lord, that you would be the provider right now. Lord, we're praying for the one that's dealing with mental instability, oh Lord, that you would speak to them, Lord. Some people 
uh, proclaim that they hear multiple voices in their head, but we're praying that your still and soft voice would reign over it all. Satan, we close your mouth and we lift up the words and the, the speech of God in your people, O oh Lord. Lord, be in our minds and be in our hearts and be in our souls so that we can be open and, re and receive everything that the Spirit of God has for us. Lord, we don't want to be closed off as we have been before. Lord, we don't want to be stony ground, Lord, or thorn thorny ground, Lord, but we want to have soft hearts. And Lord, we want to be open vessels unto you and not vaults that are closed off. God, we repent right now and we turn away from everything that has kept us away from you. Everything that has put distance in between our relationship with you, O oh Lord. Lord, we cast down everything within us that will promote darkness, that will promote, O oh God, a, a way of worldly living, O oh God. We're just praying right now that we could walk in the light. We're just praying right now that we could be the light, O oh God, that would help someone else. Like we're praying that when they see us, they see the word um, magnified in our lives. They see how the word is working in our lives. They, they see how the spirit of God is covering us and keeping us. Lord, as the blind man went back and testified, we're praying that we would go and testify about how you opened our eyes, about how you continue to provide, about how you made a way again and again and again. God, we will not keep our mouths shut. Lord, not just in this time of prayer on the boiler room, but God, when we leave this place, Lord, not just in the time of our Sunday services, but when we leave the service, Lord, we need a pray, we need a prayer and a praise that goes into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Lord, we need a constant praise and a constant worship because you have constantly done it for us. Lord, we're just praying right now, oh God, that we would do everything that we need to do to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. Oh God, we just need you now more than ever. Lord, we know that our families are in need of you. Lord, we know that our friends are in need of you. Lord, we know that our coworkers are in need of you. Lord, there are people that don't know how to pray. Lord, there are people who feel like they've been rejected, oh God, by, by whether it be the church, oh Lord, or by the spirit, oh God. They feel like, Lord, in, in their own perceptions, Lord, they feel like they can't come closer to you. But God, we're just praying right now that you would grow closer to them, oh God, so that they would have a new experience in the faith, that they would have a new experience in, in the spirit, oh God. Lord, we know that your spirit is a fresh wind. So God, we're praying that you would send something fresh unto your people, oh God. And we're praying like right now for your spiritual leaders, oh God, your pastors, Lord, your apostles, oh God, your evangelists, Lord, your teachers, oh God, everyone that is charged with spreading the faith unto this world. Oh God, we're praying against every attack that would come now they're dwelling. We're praying right now against every, every force that wish to tear down the ministry, that would wish to tear down the institution of faith that we know as the church. Oh God, we're just praying that you would lift up your leaders and lift up the workers of the church right now. Everyone that is setting it up and breaking it down. Lord, everyone that is over the administration of the ministry. Lord, everyone that, that is just in the pews, oh God, faith putting their faith into something new, oh God. We're just praying right now that we would continue to have the faith, that we would continue to have courage in the midst of everything that we're going through. And Lord, we know and believe that you would do it again like you have before. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, ancient one of days, you are the one who set the earth on its axis. Lord, you are the one who made sure that the sun wasn't too close to the earth to scorch it. You are the one who spoke the first word on the earth and you will speak the last. Lord, you are the one who throughout time opened wounds and healed blind eyes. Lord, you are the one who made the thirsty to be able to drink. Lord, you are the one who quenched the souls and gave them everlasting water. God, you are the one who opened ears and shut them. Lord, you are the one who softened hearts and harden them. Lord, you are the one who can do anything and everything. God, we are pulling on that same power right now, oh God. We know that it may have happened thousands and thousands of 
five years ago, but your blood still works. Your power still works. Lord, everything that you've done can be done right now. Lord, have we forgotten the miracles that you have made in our lives? Lord, have we forgotten the ways that you have turned our hearts? God, if we have, Lord, we repent right now, God. Lord, we repent for the times that we didn't look like you. Lord, we repent for the times that we were not the Imago day. God, we repent for the times that we had our decisions in our ways and we were set in them. Lord, we repent for the times that we harden our hearts. God, we are praying that our prayers will reach through every broadcast stream. Lord, we're praying that it'll touch someone in their hospital room, Lord, in their living room and in their car, just how they need it. God, we may not know, oh Lord, but you know every ailment. Lord, you know every broken heart. Lord, you know every closed ear. God, you are omnipresent and you're all knowing. So God, we thank you for being with our families when we can't lay, lay eyes on them. Lord, we thank you for being with people who are across the, war, the world, who are fighting wars that we have no idea of. Lord, we can openly say your name, Jesus, but there is someone who has to whisper. So Lord, right now we say Jesus on their behalf. We say hallelujah on their behalf. Lord, we say glory to your name on their behalf until they reach the day that they will see the goodness of the Lord here on the earth. Lord, because you, we know that you reign on the just and the unjust. Lord, you intercede for the hearts who are torn, turned towards you and the hearts that are not. Lord, there are people and families who are mourning in Moscow right now, Lord. There was a concert hall that was bombed and shootings were let off. Lord, the, the tolls of death are still updating, but Lord, the last time we checked, there were 60 deaths. God, so we're praying that you will be a comforter. Lord, so we're praying right now that you will be a counselor. Lord. Lord, we need you to be closer to them than they ever had before. Lord, and if it will raise up any war, Lord, we pray that you will posit your peace. Lord, there are things that are happening around the world that we have no idea of, God, but we know that you can touch each and every situation. Lord, we're praying for those who may have addictions, oh God. Lord, the addictions that have held onto them for 10 years, for 15 years, where they were able to get off of the drugs for a little while and then they went back. God, we're praying that you will give them the strength, the same strength that they had to get off of the drugs, that you'll give it to them again. Because where our weakness, Lord, is, your word says that your strength is made perfect. Lord, give them the will to do the right thing. Lord, give them the will to have the, the strong power inside of their gut, Lord, that you're turning something in them, Lord, where their family members may have given up on them, God, but you will never give up on them. As long as their breath in their body, their addiction, their addiction will not have power. As long as there's breath in their body, God, you can still save them. As long as there's breath in their body, Lord, they can have a testimony. So, Lord, we stand in the gap, gap on their behalf, Lord. They may not have anybody, but they have you. And you are the best thing that has ever happened to us. So, Lord, the things that you have done for us on this set, Lord, do it in somebody else's life. Lord, let us be a living testimony of how God can change, deliver, and set free. How God can turn and ch and churn our hearts, Lord. Lord, we're praying if there if there's anybody whose spirit may be weary, God, in that that is working your work, God, that continues to work, but they are getting weary and well doing. Lord, whether it's a missionary, God, whether it's a pastor, Lord, whether it's a small church that has two or three members, God, we're praying in the name of Jesus that they'll still experience your Holy Spirit as if they had a thousand, Lord, because your word says that only two or three have to gather. God, so we trust in your name, God. We trust in everything that you will do in our lives, Lord. We transfer our trust from ourselves and we put it on you, God. We take our hands off of the wheel and we say, God, have your way in our lives. Lord, if you want us to step into the purpose, Lord, give us the strength to. Lord, if you want us to put down our addictions, Lord, give us the strength to. Lord, we're saying that you need to have your way in this world, Lord. Have your way, God. Heal bodies, Lord. Touch minds, God. Have your way, God. We just pray, oh God, and we stand in the 
gap for those who do not have, who cannot make the utterance for you to have your way, God. We pray that they will become those that will who cry out to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, God, we give your name all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Lord, we say that you are worthy. We say that you are awesome. We say that you are mighty. You are the Rose of Sharon. You are so beautiful. You are the light of the world. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are our Prince of Peace. You are our everlasting God. You are the one that heals the sick. You are Adonai, Master of all. You are Imanah, the faithful God. You are the one that continues to, to save us time and time again. You are Emmanuel, God that is with us. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are Jehovah Nisi, our bloodstained banner. You are our knight in shining armor. You are the one that we can call and you show up right on time. You are Jesus. You are master. You are friend, God. You are everything and more to us. You are El Roy. You are the God who sees our troubles and our falls. You are the one that sees us that when we were polluted in our blood, Lord, that you pulled us out of that dark space. You are the God that strengthened each and every one of us. You are a safe tower and the righteous can run into it and be saved. You are the one that set out fires and you cast them down. You are the one that breaks up every chariot and break up every bow. You are the one that speaks a word and the earth melts under the sound of your voice. You are the God that goes out into the earth. You are the one that passed over every home. You are the God that we can trust. God, and just with one touch, the mountain has to move. With just one touch that the, the, the enemy has to flee. God, you have all the power in your hand. When the enemy thought he had power on Calvary, you are the one that showed up and, and tore up the temple. God, we thank you right now for being mighty. We thank you right now for being just. We thank you right now for being a provider. We thank you right now for being that transfer. God, we thank you right now that you have wrapped your arms around each and every one of us. We thank you for the comfort. We thank you for the meals you provide. We thank you for doors that no man can shut. We thank you for doors that had to be closed. We thank you for every no. We thank you for every time you had to discipline us. We thank you for bringing us into this life. We thank you, God, that you have adopted us to your kingdom. We thank you that you didn't leave us out to die. We thank you right now that you have clothed us, God. We thank you that you have made us higher than the angels. We thank you that you have made us in your likeness. God, that you said let this mind that also is in Christ Jesus be also in you thank you God for trusting us with a mind like Christ thank you God for trusting us to be on this path thank you God that you have given us everlasting strength that you have given us life and godliness we thank you that you have crowned us kings and queens we thank you, God, that you have made us rich in the heavens. Even if the earth can't see our richness, we thank you that there is riches and glory for us to ask for, God. We thank you that you are forever, that you're, there's no limit to you. But God, that you are all things. Lord, we pray that you will forgive us for each and every one of our sins. Yes, we are guilty. Yes, you are with us in the, the, with us when we were sinning. Yes, you never left our side, God. But we're asking right now that you take your spiritual rag and would you wipe out the mug and the mirror? Would you wipe out any residue? We pray right now, God, that you would heal us. We made our own top. Sometimes we have made our own selves sick. So God, we're praying right now that you will heal the very things that we continue to run back to, God. Would you heal our broken hearts, Lord? Would you heal our broken minds? Would you take out the bipolarism? We pray right now against every spirit of anger. We pray against every spirit of malice. We pray against every spirit of stubbornness, witchcraft. God, we pray against every warlock. We pray against every demonic distraction, everything that tries to claim our mind, everything that wants us to go the opposite way. We pray against it right now in the name of Jesus. We cast out every foul ground. We tear it up right now, God. We pray right now that every person who is more than every person that is spiritual 
spiritually sick. We're asking that they be spiritually well. We come to you right now, God, that somebody is dealing with being evicted. Somebody is dealing with being homeless. Somebody is trying to close, but the bank won't work with them. God, we pray right now for favor in the land. We pray right now for favor in their mind, God. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Would you help your people? The people that's lifting up their hands. The people who is waving that white flag, thinking that they are going to give in to the enemy. God, we're asking right now that you take their mind back. We pray right now, God, that they won't give up. We pray right now that they won't believe the lies of the devil. We pray against the spirit of doubt. We pray against the spirit of, of manipulation, Lord. We pray against it right now. Lord, that you would just have your way that somebody would have their mind above and not beneath, that somebody won't think of themselves less than, that somebody won't think of themselves not worthy, that somebody will not allow their insecurities to run Russia in their spirit. Lord, we're asking right now when they look in the mirror for your words that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that I knew you before you was formed in your mother's womb, for yet you have substance, though you are unperfect. God, we're praying that people will understand the likeness and the beauty that they have within. But the world keeps telling them that they're not good enough. The world keeps telling them you have to look like this or that. The world keeps trying to persuade this image that sometimes it's not reachable. So God, we're praying that the distant deliverer will come into somebody's room, that you will break up everything that they thought was good for them. For we think what we think is good God is not always good God we're praying that you will strengthen them Lord that they will give their will unto you somebody keeps speaking deadness over their womb but father that you're there is no time there is no age limit if they're still trusting for a child God that they will believe if you did it for Sarah you can do it for them if you did it for Lazarus you can do it for them God if you raise them from the dead you can raise that body from the dead Jesus, God, that you would just continue to fill their atmosphere. Will somebody just worship? Will somebody just lift up a sound? Will somebody will just give it all unto you? Will somebody lift up their hands and surrender it? God, will somebody be submitted unto the power and the will of God? That they will understand and know that you are so powerful. That the world will stop forgetting about you, Lord. We come to you. Just lifting up Christina and Ava as they're about to celebrate another year of life. God, we're asking that blessings will find them. We're praying that revelation will find them. We're praying that all the doors will be open unto them, oh God. We pray right now for provision for a family. That there will be increase of faith. That there will be food on the table. That there will be clothes on their backs. God, that there will be a roof over their head that their mind will be stable we come to you right now God lifting up Taylor whatever Taylor it may be God we're praying that you will be in their heart and their mind we're praying that they will believe God if they don't believe help that unbelief we're praying for sister Esther Lord we're asking that you continue to heal her body heal her shoulder heal her mind heal her heart God whatever it is heal it in the name of Jesus and we pray for every prayer warrior every person who is dedicated to prayer every person that stands in the gap every person that don't count a robbery to speak up every person that has a Peter within them God we pray right now that there will be a sound we pray right now that people will be alert we pray right now that people will stand on the front line and understand that they are doing a great work God we push back the enemy we push him back right now that he has no authority that he has no way that he has no rule that he has no power that he has nothing that he is under our feet that he is under our feet in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we give your name all the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we do pray. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Oh God, Woo. I don't know.
know about you, but we are praying that you feel the strength in your house and that you can run on and tell the story that you are not defeated just because the power of prayer. Again, Pastor Greg Drumright sends his greetings and his love to you all and that he is always in prayer for each and every one of us. If this broadcast has blessed you, please don't count it robbery to give. Give, 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 give. If you have been blessed by this broadcast, there are five different ways to give, but if you can't be in person, we have four ways you can give virtually. And all roads lead to the Citadel. We have been on fire and there's a mighty shift happening here. So if you have, are you a local in Greensboro, if you don't even mind traveling, we would love for you to come and worship with us. We just want to make sure that you had an amazing Boiler Room experience and that your day is full with grace and mercy. Have a blessed day.